Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. We're starting to see a little bit of activity coming back into the uh, artificial intelligence area that maybe all the negative news about uh, how terrible it could be is now being shifted back to how good it can be. The markets are showing absolutely no direction. So this is where you kind of analyze what is the nature of the market? And the nature of the market right now is sideways. Now, the advantage we have is as a candlestick investor, we can see which sectors are probably acting the best. The NASDAQ, unlike the S&P 500, the Dow, and the uh, transportation index, is producing a slow uptrend, staying above the T-line. That means you probably want to find things in that sector or that uh, realm of the uh, NASDAQ stocks that probably have the best bullish charts. Now, today, AI broke out. Now, this is where candlestick analysis makes it very convincing. You can see all the indecisive trading right here on the 200-day moving average. We're going to be doing a training session this Saturday, kind of illustrating some of the subtle indicators that do not necessarily mean there's an absolute candlestick signal yet, but it allows you to start setting up for the right trade at the right time. Today, when it did a little trend kicker signal breakout, what was more compelling, it was not only just the pattern setting up, but the fact that it went through the 50, candlestick investors can see this setup. Everybody else is watching to see what happens at the 50. This is where the enthusiasm starts coming into a trade. What we're going to be demonstrating Saturday is what are the best option strategies? When you've got a huge move like this, a lot of people will ask in our chat room, what do we do with this? Well, the results are usually this strong, not strong, but steady down move. Just like we see in the 45 degree to the upside, usually after a big move like this, we'll see a 45 degree to the downside. So we can go into what is the best options trade for this type of move? Or what is the best option trade when you see a lot more force, like a, a bearish uh, a best friend, a bearish message? That means there's probably a lot of force to the downside. That may have a different option strategy. So Saturday, we're going to be identifying the subtle indicators or even the obvious indicators, like a huge hammer signal, and then positive trading. Our recommendation today was based upon seeing that they confirm this hammer signal. If they open it positive, they were going through the 50. And this downtrend, this is the type of thing that puts you in situations where the probabilities are extremely strong that you're in the right direction at the right time. So what we try to do is identify the patterns that don't look good to everybody else, but we can see that it is a classic pattern. Your fry pan bottom, your J hook. This one can still be bought on positive trading with the expectation that if they came up through the 50, they use the 50 as support, they're doing a J hook pattern, where is the next likely target up here at the 200 day moving average? So the main benefit that you get with seeing the signals and patterns is finding things that give you the prospect of being in huge trades. We had people get into top. They didn't get the full move, but that would have been hard to do. But at least they made some good profits getting in here, some getting out here. But if you got into a trade like this, which is what candlestick analysis alerts you to immediately that something new has happened in a price move, that you've got a strategy that if a price moves like this, going from eight to 256, where is the time to get out? That's where the 10 minute chart uh, analysis become, comes into play. So these are not tricky maneuvers. These are not secrets. These are just how human nature works the same way time after time. That's why we always push the two-week free trial. Just come into the chat rooms each day 
and see how many of the experienced traders are finding good trades, number one. Number two, if you want to expedite your learning curve using candlestick signals, this is a perfect place to do it because you can ask questions of people that are identifying signals and patterns and ask them why that is a good signal and pattern so that when you look at it, you get a better feel for why that is showing a strong price move potential. That'll be it. Join us Saturday, a full day training. You're going to get a lot of little uh, subtle hints on what moves prices. Not necessarily pure candlestick analysis, but using candlestick analysis and my 35 years of witnessing candlestick signals and patterns to tell you what kind of gives you a little bit better feel for what a price move is about to do. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.